Hey guys, today I'm showing you how I do my homework or work at home, so a homework routine and how I used to do it when I was at school as well. So when I get home I like to get changed into something a little more comfortable and then I make sure that my desk is as neat and tidy as I can get it. I am reorganizing mine and I will film that for you so ignore the yuckiness. <laughs> So when you're about to study, you do need food and some homework snacks. And of course, you need to be healthy, but you also want to use it as a motivator. So I always have one naughty snack there to help me become motivated and get my work done. I then make sure I have everything I need for my study session so I'm not going around everywhere trying to find things and you guys know I love these pens, they are erasable and I like to use my weekly planner and of course have a big jar of drink or a cup of drink. Now here is how I organize digitally, I have shown you guys this in a recent video and of course before I start studying I like to actually spray a fragrance that I'm not used to, it does help you remember things and then of course I like to put on some study music, Hans Simmer is amazing, it's got no distracting lyrics and it is made to motivate you. Homework is all about time management, so before you start, you're gonna to wanna to start a timer. You can either use the one on your iPhone, and I suggest 25 minutes with five minute breaks. That's also what research suggests as well. Or you could use an app like 3030. I'm not sponsored, but this is amazing. It helps you time manage activities, and it's really, really good. When you're about to start your study session or homework, you're gonna to wanna to make a list and tick off each task as you go. This will not only motivate you, but it will give you a sense of accomplishment, and you will be able to see the finish line. During every study session, I also like to write what I did not finish or what I need to get done the following day. This is really, really important. Otherwise, you might end up forgetting really important things. So I like to do this to keep myself on track. I use sticky notes in quite an extensive way and I will show you that in future videos. But here I'm just writing a really important note so I don't forget the following day. 100% recommend investing in a homework planner or an assignment planner or even a weekly planner. This is usually full of writing and I use it every single day. At the end of each homework session and study session, you know what, you will still have questions that need to be answered and that is all a part of learning. So make sure you write down those questions and ask your teacher or lecturer the following day. I even still write down questions so I can ask in my meetings and so that I know that I'm on track, I don't know everything. For you visual or digital learners, there are loads of websites to help you study. There are spark notes for you literature kids, or there's maths way for you people who struggle with numeracy. And trust me, I swear everybody does. Make sure you don't use them to cheat though, otherwise you're not learning. And guys, don't forget to take those five minute breaks. I like to play with my dog or do something completely unrelated to work or education. And this is genuinely what I do during my homework routines. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It obviously changes every single day and I have lots more to show you, but it's a bit boring to actually watch me do my work. <laughs> Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe.